Welcome back guys, today we'll be covering the basics of constellations, but before we do, make sure you guys like and subscribe, and also join the discord down in the description below. So first, in order to get constellations, you have to get level 301 of course, and do the reset. Next, you unlock some line upgrades, and the fourth upgrade right here, which unlocks the grass cap, is probably the most important one. So once you do the constellation reset, you unlock a bunch of nodes which are also known as constellations. We will only cover the first five basic constellations in this video. So the first constellation we'll talk about is the generator. So what the generator does, it, it generates a certain amount of lines per second, and it generates a certain amount of instability per second. But also, it also increases the instability and generation of adjacent generators by 1.3x. So lines is the currency that is used in the constellation world. It is important to generate lines so you can unlock greater generators and stuff but it also creates an unwanted byproduct this unwanted byproduct is called instability as you can see right here this is how much instability can be stored in your system before your system just completely blows up so watch i'm gonna place one basic generator and look i'll be generating a certain amount of lines but i'll also be generating plus three so right now i'm not losing any instability because of my built-in stabilizers but once it gets past zero like this it starts generating instability. Once it reaches 300, the system will completely blow up and you lose all your investments. So make sure that you don't reach the cap. Also, as you can see, these generators do not affect each other, but when I put them next to each other, they start to affect each other. All right, so let's cover the next topic, which is the stabilizer. So the stabilizer reduces the instability generation of adjacent constellations by a certain amount. The stabilization rate is also affected by your ring upgrades. So Stabilizer 2 increases stability power by 10% per level. It's important to max that out because it is very important towards your progress. So first, let me demonstrate to you why this is very important. So I'm going to place this right here. So I have this formation and I'm generating 30 instability per second. However, once I place this, I'm only generating 6 per second. And if I replace it with a stronger one, it neutralizes it completely. So it is very important that you balance the amount of instability you gain with stabilizers. So for example, Right now, this event stabilizer tier 2 is reducing the instability generation of adjacent constellations by 24. And these four generators are producing 15 instability each. So if I were to replace this with a powerful generator, I'll be producing way too much instability and my system would just completely blow up. In order to counter this, a good rule of thumb is to match the generator with the stabilizer. So for example, I place a stabilizer in the middle and I just match it with tier 3 generators. However, as you go up the tiers, they will stop matching each other. So for example, the Mega Generator Tier 4 does not match the Mega Stabilizer Tier 4. I can place I can place this in the middle and it will just blow up instantly because it just doesn't match it. When building your constellation setup, it is important to balance the amount of generators and stabilizers you have. So probably the most basic setup is the checkerboard setup, which goes like this. So this is the basic checkerboard setup in which you put generators in the gaps like that. This generates the most amount of lines by only using generators and stabilizers. Obviously, it's not the most efficient, but this should do for the first three to four tiers. So what a reinforcement does, it increases stabil it increases instability capacity by 30. And as you can see, the built instability generator is 10% of your current reinforcement. So right now I have 330 health and the natural stability rate is minus 33. And obviously the more you place, the more stability generator you get. So it is important to balance these three things out. So sometimes you can place these in the corners and have some symmetrical stabilizers going like this. This should do for maybe tier four, but early tiers, you probably don't even need to worry about reinforcements. So just forget about reinforcements until you absolutely have to deal with it. Reinforcements increase your natural stability, which is very important later on. Next, we'll cover the basic moon upgrade, which is very important for offline progress. So the basic moon increases lunar power by 15%, but it also does the regular generator stuff, but and it also generates 30 instability per second. So as you can see, tier one does not match tier one. So for this one, you would have to pick something else. This is where the reinforcements and checkerboards come into power. So if I have like a checkerboard set up like this, then the basic moon should cancel out. So watch this. I can generate this freely, and by using my reinforcements, my natural stability goes up. 
So I can see I can place a lot of these and for the rest I could just do this. Generally, you should just focus on one output. However, sometimes hybrids are worth considering. And finally, we'll look at the basic rings. So basic rings produce less, way less instability than, than, the, than their counterparts. So what a basic ring does, it increases your rings earned by 25%. So this is very crucial in upgrading your ring purchases. And for the basic layout, I recommend you guys use the simple checkerboard setup like I said. You, this will literally carry you all the way to tier 4. So look, I'm going to use a tier 4 setup. As you see, I'm using a basic tier 4 setup and I'm generating a lot of power right here. This setup will literally last you all the way to tier 4, maybe tier 5, but I doubt tier 5. Uh, maybe... Depending on your stabilizer upgrades, it may work until tier 5. So next episode, we'll cover some more advanced layouts and we'll cover the basic amplifier, which is very important towards your progress. And with that, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.